What is going on my good old friends of YouTube? It is your boy Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So check it out. You guys know the drill. In this video, we're going to break down the markets. We're going to break down some stocks, charts, what I'm doing in the markets. But before we do, make sure to get your free money for Moomoo. You get 10 stocks, each of which could be valued all the way up to 2,500 bucks. All you got to do is go down below, use that link, or go to stasurfest.com slash Moomoo, deposit at least 100 bucks, and you get your free stocks. And you could also get six stocks from Weeble with any amount deposited. Positive. That's also linked down below, or you can go to stasurfest.com slash Weeble. So with that being said, and by the way, those uh, those links really help out the channel, guys. I appreciate you all, as always. So with that being said, cheers. Let's dive into the video. So check it out. It's currently about 12.45 p.m. on the East Coast, and we all know at this point, tomorrow the CPI data comes out for June, which is going to be big. Tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. on the East Coast, and we're going to see what inflation is looking like, and of course, that's going to give us kind of an indication on how the Fed's going to react, whether or not they're going to do 50 basis points, 75 basis points. Maybe they shock us and do uh, one percentage point, which I doubt, but who really knows at this point, right? So that's what we have to look forward to tomorrow. And earlier in the day today, the markets were actually red for the most part. I think the Dow this morning was slightly green, but all the other ones were red. And now you can see everything is green. We have the Russell up 0.6%, the NASDAQ 100 is up a quarter of a percent, the S&P is up 0.2. As we have the Dow Jones up half a percent, we have the VIX down about 0.6, and we have gold down 0.2, silver's down 0.6, and last I checked, Bitcoin and Ethereum, those are pretty flat right now, and we will take a look at those in a couple of minutes, so make sure you guys stick on throughout here. And the main thing I'm seeing here on SPY and on Triple Q, for that matter, on the uh, the 20-day, one-hour chart is a wedge. Can you guys see it? It's clear as day, right? We have higher lows being made from 269 on triple Q to 278 and now we got buyers uh, you know coming in at about 287 288 right around the uh, the 180 moving average here so we are making higher lows but also lower highs in the short term right ever since the end of June and it's the same thing here on spy we have a wedge boom higher lows but also lower highs over the past couple of weeks so I have a couple of alerts set right now one's at 386 on spy which is right by the 50 the SMA on this 20-day chart, and it's also right by, I believe, the pre-market high. Let me double check. Um, yeah, the pre-market high from today and the intraday high from today, which is right around 386. So in other words, if we get buyers above 386 on SPY, we start breaking this wedge, maybe we break 390, that could be a point where we get even more upside here. And of course, I don't think this is going to happen today um, due to the fact that tomorrow we have the CPI data. But let's say inflation comes in, maybe not that bad. You know, there could be a big rally in store here. Not back to all-time highs or anything crazy like that. All I'm saying is, you know, a little bit, maybe a multi-day rally, you know, a couple percentage points more to the upside. Don't rule that out. It all comes down to the inflation data tomorrow morning, right? And same thing with triple Q. You know, we have the wedge, like I mentioned, but we're not breaking out yet. So I have my alert at 300 on triple Q. I'm going to add another one now. Mark is at or above 295. And we'll see what it ends up doing from there, guys. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already. And now let's take a look quickly at what's going on on, uh, on Weeble here when it comes to Bitcoin and Ethereum. So right now, BTC is chilling at about 19000 Nine hundred and twenty ish dollars, which means it is now under twenty thousand guys, which I've said before, if we start getting under twenty, especially nineteen five, that is where we could start getting even more downside and uh, the downside could accelerate. And based on what we're seeing here the past couple of days, Bitcoin has really been uh, moving to the downside from twenty two thousand four hundred. We hit that on the seventh of July. Now we're at nineteen nine. This is uh, it's it's getting close to almost a three thousand dollar drop in just the past couple of days. And when it comes to Ethereum, let's pull that up and see what's going on on uh, Ethereum right now. Da 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 da. Ethereum is right around one thousand and eighty dollars, down one percent on the day so far. And we can clearly see it's getting awfully close to the lows from just a couple of, uh, of days ago, about ten days ago from the beginning of this month. Uh, you know, the first, the second, the third 
of July. That's right around a thousand, a thousand and twenty dollars. So if we do take that out and start going under a thousand, that is where I think the selling could accelerate here on uh, Ethereum. So what do you guys think? I mean, this is what I'm seeing. We are breaking slowly but surely key levels to the downside here on Bitcoin and Ethereum. And of course, like I said, with the stock market, same applies here on uh, BTC and Ethereum. It all relies or uh, it all comes down to rather that inflation report that comes out tomorrow morning. And I will be breaking that down on Patreon. I make morning videos every single day for my top tier Patreon members. If you guys do want to check that out, it is linked down below. You also get my real time call outs, moves I'm making, more access to me throughout the day, exclusive content. All that's on Patreon. Check uh, check it out. Link down below or you can go to stocksurfest.com slash Patreon. And if you're an existing Patreon member, I appreciate you as always. You guys are freaking awesome. So with that being said, let's go to Thinkorswim and see what's going on in terms of these different stocks that we got to break down. Like you guys saw in the title, we have some stocks to go over. We had Pepsi report earnings this morning and the stock ended up doing pretty well initially. You guys can see it shot up to about $173.50 and it's still green. I mean, it's up half a percent, but it has come down about two, roughly $2 um, intraday here. It is down about 1.2%, nothing crazy. But at the end of the day, if you are a bull on Pepsi, you need to see a breakout of the highs from the end of May, right around 172, 173. And now you guys can see we are under that price point. So before I even tell you guys what they reported, let me set my alert quickly. Mark is at or above $173. Let's do that. Perfect. So if we do break 173, the next spot I'm seeing this going potentially, nothing's guaranteed, guys. Keep that in mind. But 177, 178, that is where it could be going. So Pepsi ended up doing adjusted EPS of $1.86 versus $1.74 estimated. Revenue came in at $20.23 billion versus $19.51 billion estimated. So in other words, guys, they ended up double beating and they destroyed revenue, which is fantastic. And they also see 2022 dividends of $6.2 billion, buybacks of $1.5 billion. So if you didn't know, when um, a management team is giving dividends or buybacks, you know, they're doing buybacks, which means they're buying back their own shares. This is a way to give back to the shareholders, right? And me personally, guys, I'm not a big dividend investor. I much rather have my businesses that I own, stocks I own, I much rather have them buy back their own shares as opposed to give me um, a dividend. And that's for tax reasons. We're not going to dive into that in this video. But either way, whether you're um, you know, a dividend investor, you like buybacks, you own Pepsi, whatever. You know, it's good that they are giving back dividends and, uh, you know, they're doing buybacks. That's fantastic. So that is uh, what they ended up doing. Beat adjusted EPS. They beat revenue and they affirmed their full year outlook, which is always good. It's not like they're cutting guidance and they're not raising guidance. They're affirming it, uh, which, OK, that's that's pretty solid. So Pepsi, again, my alert set at one hundred seventy three dollars. We shall see what it does there. Will it break? Will it get rejected? Time will tell. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as always, guys. And the next one, which is ripping right now, is none other than AMC. So let's do a quick little breakdown on AMC. Then we'll look at GameStop, which is also starting to make a move as I'm filming this video. So AMC is up 6% on the day. And like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, if this breaks out of the wedge, which now it has, and it starts moving past 15, 1450, which now it has, there could be a breakout towards $17. And mind you, we're currently a little bit under $16. So I think there actually could be more upside here on AMC. 17 bucks is what it hit back in the end of May, early June. And if we do take out 17, there could be a push towards, um, let's see here. If I draw this out, probably eh, 20, 21 dollars. I mean, that's where this could be going next. And I actually did sell this. And to be honest, guys, I might have sold this a little bit too early, but like they always say, like they say, and like I always say, profit is profit, and you never went broke locking in profits, right? So at this point, I'm out of AMC, right? I got out of those shares last week, I believe on Thursday, officially closed out of all the shares. Now I'm looking at 
what it's going to do from here. If we run to 17, the last thing I'm going to do is chase that, right? I'm going to be waiting for a pullback. If this could come down from, let's say here, let's say here, 16, 16, 50, uh, 50, 17 bucks. If it could come down to, let's say, 13, 50 again, 13, maybe test that, you know, uh, 14 level, that could be potentially here based on what I'm thinking and what I'm seeing, that could be a, a dip buy. But for now, I'm not touching it. Maybe it could be a, a quick little intraday scalp play. You know, that's not how I usually trade for the most part. But, you know, sometimes I do that. Uh, you know, it could still be that. But overall, if you're looking at it as, you know, a multi-day swing, I'd be a little bit careful here. You know, I'd be, uh, if you were to dive into it, I'd have a tight stop loss on it, 2 3%, maybe even tighter than that, depending on, um, you know, how you guys like to trade and your risk tolerance. So the next one, GameStop, GME. Let's see what's going on here. GameStop's up 6%, and this is not fully breaking out yet. Remember, AMC is fully breaking out. It's uh, it's above the moving averages. We have a breakout of the wedge. GameStop was breaking out a couple of weeks ago. It cooled off. Now we got ourselves back in a wedge, and if this thing breaks, let's say, 140, 145, especially above 150, that is going to be a point where this would be fully breaking out. We're not there yet, but it could be coming right around the corner. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So for now, I'm going to put my alert at $140 and see what GameStop does from there. And have you guys seen Apple? Let's pull that up. AAPL. Apple's been moving very aggressively lately. This thing is up today when I'm filming 2.1%. It's knocking on the door of 150 bucks a share, which I do believe, and mind you, my alert's at 150 I do believe if we do take 150 50 out, which was the high from the end of May, early June, there could be a push towards 160. And not to toot my own horn, but I actually called this out a couple days, maybe not a couple days ago, but a week or two ago when Apple was at 130, 35. You know, I was saying, guys, Apple is getting to the bottom of this channel. If we get some sort of rally, there could be a nice push. And by rally, I mean in the overall markets, there could be a nice push on Apple. And lo and behold, that's exactly what we got. Apple went from a buck 30. Now we're pushing 150. And if this continues based on that CPI data tomorrow, this could start moving again towards 155.60, in my opinion. So keep your eyes on Apple. JD.com is another one, which we did call out when it was near 70. It did not play out. It did not play out. It fell all the way now to about 60 bucks, but that might have been a blessing in disguise, to be honest, because we shook out a lot of uh, maybe weak hands, profit-taking, whatever you want to call it, and now the stock is getting buyers and volume starting to creep back up right around 60, right around the 180 SMA on this four-hour chart, and right by the uh, the trend line here, the uptrend. And you guys can see higher lows are clearly being made. We got one there. We got a bunch right here. And if this holds, boom, we start making a move back uh, mid-60s, high 60s. The breakout could then start happening uh, above 70. And now that we're down to about 60, like I said, I'd say the risk reward's a little bit more favorable now than it was uh, when it was at about 68, 69, 67 dollars. And I'm sure you guys would agree with me on that. So keep your eyes on JD. It's currently up 2% on the day. This could definitely be a, uh, a nice play throughout the week. Uh, this week, Upwork is another one, UPWK, which slowly has been reversing. We're above the moving averages on the four-hour chart here. We have a golden cross. And just today and a little bit on uh, yesterday, Monday, we sold off, right? From 25 bucks, now we're in the mid-21s. We're down a good 15% in just the past couple of days, and this is a good sign. We're shaking out the weak hands. We're getting back to the moving averages on the four-hour chart, bottom of the channel. Now, the million-dollar question is, will buyer step in right around 20, 21, 21, 50? I think there's a chance that happens, so I'm watching it for that exact reason. But the second it breaks under 1950, 20 bucks, Watch out below. I think that would be a technical break to the uh, to the downside, and that would not be good for um, Upwork. So with that being said, guys, I'll wrap the video up. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe. Don't forget, check out my Patreon if you guys want to join the awesome community we have there. You get all my buy, sells, call outs, morning videos, all that good stuff is linked down below. And you guys got to get your 10 stocks from Moomoo and your 6 stocks from Webull. Literally free money, guys. Deposit at least 100 bucks into Moomoo and deposit any amount of money 
money into Webull. You get those free stocks. All of that is linked down below. And with that being said, cheers, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.